Today, as part of the Jockey Pathway, we're going to show you how to make spaghetti bolognese, a delicious, tasty meal that everybody loves. Instead of using beef mince, you could use turkey mince as an alternative. This is a much lower fat option and is high in protein and is still really tasty. If you want to increase the protein or fibre content of any meal, try adding some extra kidney beans to a dish. So now we're going to cook our spaghetti bolognese. We have a nice hot pan here. We're using 5% beef mince. You could use turkey mince or pork mince if you so wished, but always check the fat content. They're very good now at labeling it up and making sure you're getting a low fat content meat. We're going to tip the mince into the pan and just, again, a good hot pan. Now once we get that to sizzle, we can turn it down a tiny bit so that we don't burn it. We're just going to stir it around and use a small bit of salt and pepper. That's just a couple of pinches of each. And we're just going to give that a stir for the first couple of minutes until it starts to brown off. We leave that cooking and we just keep an eye on it, making sure it's not sticking to anywhere in the pan. So now we're going to start our veg. We're going to start with chopping the onions. We just peel off the outer skin. Now as we're putting this in with mince, we're going to chop them up into a smaller-ish dice. Again, it's rough enough, it doesn't have to be too precise. But we just always mind our fingers with the knife and cut them into roughly the same size pieces. We're going to peel our carrots. And again, we want to chop those into dice so they can be fairly rough. Now we move on to our peppers. Slicing into the middle, we pull out the pips and just slice out any of that white membrane. Just take two cloves, crush them under the back of a knife Take out the skin and chop them up. And then we're going to move over and check that our mince is okay. We have a nice bit of colour. We just squash down any lumps if it's cooked into, into a little lump. You can just flatten them out. And then we're going to add all our vegetables into the pot with the mince. And I'm going to take up my big board and just slide everything in. So now once the veg starts to soften, we're going to add in our tomato puree and balsamic vinegar. And then we add in our cans of tomatoes. We want the whole lot to cook out for about 20 minutes after that. So we're going to use about two tablespoons of tomato puree, which is approximately half a tube. So then we're going to use about two of these large spoons of balsamic vinegar, which would be four dessert spoons at home. And we just stir that in and let it cook for a little moment. So now we're going to add in our cans of tomatoes.
and we're going to give it a big stir in again. At this stage you want to turn down the heat a small amount and just let it simmer for 20 minutes. So we're going to add in our oregano again. It's about two tablespoons, so it's not a huge amount. We're going to stir that in and allow the whole lot to simmer for about 20 minutes. So now that our water is boiling, we're going to put on our pasta. We take our pasta in, place it into water, and then just gently we'll feed it down into the pot as it begins to soften. Here we're cooking for five portions of pasta, so we put in one whole packet, which is about 500 grams. We're working on about 100 to 120 grams per portion. And we're just gently feeding it in to get all the pasta covered in the water. As it softens off, it'll bend and go into the pot. So the pasta is going to take about 10 minutes to cook. We want to keep giving it a little stir just to make sure it's not sticking anywhere in the pot. So now we're going to check our pasta to see if it's cooked. We pull out a small amount or a small piece and we're just going to bite into it and see that it's soft all the way through. Or if there's a tiny bit of bite in it, that's okay. So that is perfect. We're going to strain off our pasta now. And now we're going to plate up our pasta. And again, we're always thinking about portion size. Good size plate helps manage the portions. And then we're gonna put on our Parmesan cheese. It's optional. You can buy this grated in the shops or just grate a small bit at home. And then we're gonna plate up our four for later on. So we always let our hot food cool down fully before putting it in our fridge and our freezer. It'll last for five days in the fridge and up to three or four months in the freezer.